Hi, and welcome back to the Food Fund, where we analyze investing in food stocks. If you love food and love buying food stocks, beverage stocks, and restaurant stocks, you will love this channel. In this video we will be analyzing if Kraft Heinz company stock is a buy. Kraft Heinz, stock ticker symbol KHC, is a long-term holding of investing genius Warren Buffett. If you are new here, our goal is to help you put your money where your mouth is and invest in the best food companies. We have a lot to cover so let's go ahead and jump right in. Cue the logo. Let's start with some background info on Kraft Heinz company. Kraft Heinz was founded in 1869 and is one of the largest packaged food companies out there. The year 2015 would prove to be a major year in the company's history with the merger of Kraft and Heinz, two food titans. Today the company has over 37,000 employees whipping up deliciousness around the globe. Their headquarters straddle two iconic American cities, Chicago and Pittsburgh. The company is also home to some of the most popular brands such as Kraft Mac and Cheese, Oscar Mayer, Heinz Ketchup, and Philadelphia Cream Cheese. The company also counts many famous investors among its shareholders including Warren Buffett and Bill Gates. Now let's look at the price action. Starting with the one year chart we see that Kraft Heinz had a cager of about minus 9%. Zooming out to the 5 year chart we see that Kraft Heinz had a cager of minus 3%. Kraft Heinz share price has been a dud for a very long time. If we perform a backtest comparison of investing $10,000 in Kraft Heinz versus the S&P 500 we find poor results for Kraft Heinz. In that comparison with the S&P 500, $10,000 invested in Kraft Heinz would have shrunk to $6,308 or a minus 7% cager versus $19,709 or a 12% cager if invested in the S&P 500. This demonstrates tremendous underperformance for Kraft Heinz. Shockingly, a Kraft Heinz investment would have been more volatile with a 31% standard deviation versus 18% for the S&P 500. Kraft Heinz underperformed the S&P 500 in terms of both the best year performance for which Kraft Heinz grew 18% versus S&P 500 31% and the worst year performance where Kraft Heinz fell 42% versus the S&P 500 18% fall. In terms of max drawdown Kraft Heinz fell 65%, more than the max drawdown of 24% for the S&P 500. Kraft Heinz also performs poorly in comparisons using the Sharpe ratio and the Sortino ratio. Now let's hop over to market share and take a look at Kraft Heinz's market share. So we come over here and type in the ticker symbol for Kraft Heinz and see that the market share is about 3% out of the publicly traded food, beverage, and restaurant stocks currently in the market. This means that a fair amount of all money spent for food or beverages goes to Kraft Heinz. Unfortunately, this market share position has not been growing. The 5-year market share cager for Kraft Heinz is minus 5%. This means that Kraft Heinz's market share is falling rapidly. If we start in 2019 we see that the market share was 3.7%, rose to 3.8% in 2020, then fell down to 3.3% in 2021. 3.1% in 2022, and 3% over the trailing 12 months. Market share decline at Kraft Heinz has been steady and is trending to continue downwards. In this newest version of market share we can actually perform a sub-analysis among a basket of similar companies. For example, if we want to compare Kraft Heinz against some of its peers say Kellanova, formerly Kellogg, and General Mills, we find some interesting results. Out of a basket of those three companies, Kraft Heinz has a 43% market share indicating that Kraft Heinz has the holds the largest chunk of the market out of these three companies. Next we see that Kraft Heinz's market share is virtually unchanged in this three stock basket over the last five years. This means that this basket of Kraft Heinz, Kellanova, and General Mills is shrinking more than all food, beverage, and restaurant stocks combined. Consumers are clearly shifting away from cooking at home using the products of these three companies and are spending that money elsewhere. Let's take a look at the fundamentals. Gross margin is 33%. 
This is similar gross margin to its peer companies. Revenue has compounded at around a 2% cager over the past 5 years and has reached over $27.2 billion most recently. Big company but growth is barely keeping up with inflation. Looking at cash flow we see a 0% cager over the last 5 years for operating cash flow, while capex has worsened at a 9% cager. As a result free cash flow has decreased at a 3% cager. This is not what we want to see. Negligible operating cash flow growth is further hurt by rising capex. Free cash flow never had a chance. Weighted average shares outstanding have actually increased over the last 5 years. Going from 1.22 billion shares in 2019 to 1.24 billion shares most recently, Kraft Heinz has been diluting shareholders ever so slightly. Again, this is the opposite of what we want to see. Honestly, I am very disappointed to see that Kraft Heinz has not been buying back shares. Now let's view return on invested capital. Return on invested capital has risen from 4.2% in 2019 to 5.2% in 2023. Kraft Heinz has become a little more efficient in driving profits from its investments after this trend bottomed in 2020. However, I am not optimistic about future gains. Another favorite metric is cash conversion cycle, a measure of operational efficiency regarding supplier and payer leverage as well as inventory control. Going from 0 days in 2019 to 10 days most recently, Kraft Heinz has demonstrated worsening efficiency. Though 10 days is not horrible I love to see negative values which indicate very efficient use of inventory and supplier and payer leverage. Now, let's look at Kraft Heinz's debt. The net debt to EBITDA has fallen steadily over the past 5 years, going from 3.5 in 2019 to 2.4 most recently. While no debt is better than some debt, Kraft Heinz's debt level is very manageable and they appear to be dedicated to reducing their debt load over time. Last, let's explore dividends. Current dividend yield is a reasonable 4.33% with a dividend payout percentage of 65%. While Kraft Heinz's dividend yield is nice and fat the payout percentage is high enough that I start to have concerns that the company cannot increase dividends in the future. Kraft Heinz cut their dividend per share from 62 cents to 40 cents in 2019 and has continued paying 40 cents since. The fundamentals of Kraft Heinz are not good, but there may be some viewers who wish to add it to their portfolio. Before sharing my final thoughts on that, please click the like button and let YouTube know that you like the content. Subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you catch the latest videos. The channel has grown so much recently so thank you for your continued support. It really means a lot. Now, let's get into my final thoughts. Ok, let's go to the spreadsheet and write out some key values for Kraft Heinz. It is a food company with a gross margin of 33%. The 5 year revenue per share cager is 2% and the 5 year free cash flow per share cager is minus 3%. While the gross margin is standard, revenue and free cash flow are subpar. A return on invested capital of 5% is low. Next, the cash conversion cycle of 10 days is not very bad but I would love to see this value move closer to zero. Concerning debt, a net debt to EBITDA of 2.4 means that it would take Kraft Heinz a little under 30 months of earnings to pay back their debt. So from a fundamental standpoint, Kraft Heinz leaves a lot to be desired. Now let's switch our attention over to valuation. Kraft Heinz is undervalued relative to the S&P 500 with a ratio of 0.6. The price to earnings growth, or PEG ratio, is 3 indicating that Kraft Heinz is overvalued relative to their projected earnings growth. Kraft Heinz is a household name and a blue chip food company that has roots going back 150 years. However, its days of revenue growth are long gone. Kraft Heinz is essentially in its cash cow phase though it is producing less and less cash each year. While the great Warren Buffett does own more than 25% Kraft Heinz this does not make it a good investment. By some accounts Buffett has only generated a 1% cager since acquiring Heinz in 2013 and merging it with Kraft in 2015 to form Kraft Heinz as it is today. This article on Yahoo Finance provides an excellent summary of that deal. I will link the article in the description below. The valuation for Kraft Heinz is also very interesting to me. With Kraft Heinz being undervalued compared to the S&P 500 one might think that this would be a good entry sign. 
However the peg ratio of 3 clearly shows that Kraft Heinz is heavily discounted because projected growth is very bad. While I think Kraft Heinz may have potential as a value trade, I have a lot of difficulty holding a long term view on the company. For me, Kraft Heinz is not going on the watch list. Many thanks for watching. What do you think about Kraft Heinz? Please share your thoughts below. It is always great to hear from you. Please check out some more videos right now and don't forget to put your money where your mouth is.